Good happy Tuesday evening. I'm Riley King and welcome to the Riley King Newscast. Let's get started. First up, international flight bound for New York City diverted to New Hampshire. A flight from the Dominican Republic to New York City was diverted to New Hampshire on Monday night. Maine heard cider truck theft suspect arrested again. A Canton, Maine woman accused of stealing a hard cider truck from a Portland convenience store last December and crashing it in Limington is behind bars again. Portsmouth City Council plans meeting on Pease Well contamination. The Portsmouth City Council is holding a workshop meeting to talk about a federal agency plan to create a community advisory panel met to address concerns about a contaminated well. Man accused of posting fake ads as part of armed robbery attempted. A Manchester man accused of trying to rob a man at knife point last month was arrested over the weekend. Wintry mix makes for slick roadways. Heavy rain expected. A wintry mix of sleet and freezing rain made for a slick commute Tuesday morning, leading to a number of accidents on the state highways. Man exposed himself to students inside SNHU bathroom, police say. A Nashua man with a history of indecent exposure has been accused of exposing himself to students inside a Southern New Hampshire University bathroom, according to authorities. Nashua man fires gun inside crowded bar, police say. A Nashua man faces charges after getting into a fight and firing a gun inside a crowded bar, according to authorities. Man faces Nash, man faces charges after firing shots from moving vehicle, police say. A Manchester man faces charges after firing shots from a moving vehicle in Nashua, police say. Massachusetts woman uses lottery winnings to buy motel room for homeless man. A woman's good fortune turned even better when she saw an immediate opponent to give back. Finally, Lake Winnipesaukee is fully covered in ice. After a winter that has been dicey, short on ice and cold, Lake Winnipesaukee is finally encased. Man charged with DWI crash that injures other driver police say. A Seabrook man is accused of driving drunk and causing a crash that seriously injured another driver police say. Police driver leads trooper on chase in Stolen SUV steals another. A man and woman face the charges after leading police on a chase in two stolen vehicles, according to authorities. Seabrook man killed in snowmobile crash in Pittsburgh. A 30-year-old 
Seabrook man was killed in a snowmobile crash Monday afternoon, fish and game officials say. Snow and ice move through overnight. Snow changes to sleet and freezing rain from south to north overnight. Falling a frigid weekend Tuesday in the 50s. This snow normally wouldn't be big news in the Granite State, but it comes in the middle of a wild weather roller coaster ride. Justice Antio Salona to lie in response at Supreme Court Friday. The late Justice Antino Salona will lie in repose at Supreme Court Friday, the court announced today. A private ceremony will be held in the court at 9.30 a.m., after which the event will be open to the public from 10.30 a.m. until 8 p.m. Zika virus outbreak updates. FDA issues new guidelines on blood donation. The Zika virus outbreak continues to spread throughout the Western Hemisphere and concerns are growing for pregnant women because the mosquito-borne virus has been linked with a series of birth defect called microfioli characterized by an abominably small head and brains in infants. And that did it for the Riley King newscast right here on the Riley King Network. I hope you all have a great rest of your Tuesday night. Good night, everyone. Bye.